What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys just a quick video and update for my Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus users out there. The Samsung TouchWiz launcher was updated today and I just wanna mention one of the things that it was trying to address. That is the lag when you swipe up or swipe down on the home screen to get into your app drawer. Now a lot of users were complaining there's substantial lag um, and it does seem to be a little bit snappier. To be honest, I've been using Action Launcher uh, on my Galaxy S8, so I switched back to check it out and it does seem a little bit faster to me, but you can see there's still a little bit of lag when you take your hand off the screen. It still does lag a little bit before it shows you all the apps. Now it's by no means a deal breaker and it doesn't really slow down the experience of the phone. A lot of people were just comparing it to the Pixel Launcher and uh, the Pixel Launcher is a little bit smoother there with that animation. Now there are a couple of places you can grab this update if you want it. You either have to go to the Play Store or to Galaxy Apps, but it's not really clear which one you go to. On both my T-Mobile version right here and my Coral Blue Galaxy S8 International, the Exynos model, I had to go into the Galaxy apps because when I went to the Play Store, it says your device isn't compatible with this version. The version number for the update, by the way, is right there, 6.1.09.2. You can see some of the fixes there, new information screen, fix the lag issue, supposedly there's still a little bit left, uh, improve the visibility of the apps uh, under the icons. You can see right there, they made it a slightly different font, a little bit bolder, a little bit easier to read. In case you have a light background, I've always had this black background, so it's not a problem. If you do need to go to Galaxy Apps, just head into the Galaxy Apps uh, icon on your phone, go up to the top to the hamburger menu right here, the three dots, and then go into My Apps, and then you'll see Update right there, and then Samsung TouchWiz should appear there for you. You guys can see I don't have any updates because I already updated it earlier today. So depending on which phone you have, which model, which carrier, you'll have to use one of those two methods to update. You guys can let me know uh, if you see a significant improvement. Personally, so far, it seems to be faster when I use Action Launcher, the animation. I'll just show you guys really quick before we get out of here so you can see the comparison. This is using Action Launcher, which also has swipe up gesture using the Pixel Launcher features. And you can see it just seems to be a little more fluid to me anyway. As soon as you take it off the screen, it's pretty much instantaneous. Um, but I mean, there's not a huge difference between the two. It's really whatever you prefer. I've got TouchWiz Home on here so you guys can see a quick comparison between the two. I don't know, TouchWiz Home might actually be around the same speed. Uh, I've got the animation settings the same on both of these, so it's pretty close actually. Anyway, uh, that's the update for the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. If you guys grab it, let me know if you notice some significant improvement on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google Plus, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see future content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.